Hey guys, welcome back. Sticks Cousin Sticks here. Today we're going to talk about Beats or Beats or Mosimane and we're going to talk about the games that are going to be played today in the Premiership. So before that, don't forget to like, subscribe, show me love as I show you love and let's get straight into it. Pizza Mosimane has shocked fans and legends alike with his tactics, guys. Uh, former player Hanny Ramsey has come out to say he's never seen Al Ahli Al play the way that they've been playing. They, they passed the ball 41 times before the opposition and they've been winning quite attractively thanks to Pizza Mosimane. He's undefeated at the moment, Pizza Mosimane, and um, Al Ahli beat Casablanca 5 1 in the CAP Champions League second leg. Great game. Beats so almost money, and his team are now in the finals. They'll have to wait though before they see uh, who they play in the, in the cup final. It's between Zamalek and Raja or Raja or whatever, however they're pronounced. CAF postponed that game due to coronavirus concerns. So it'll be a while before Pizzo wins his first trophy for Al Ahli. But as for all Pizzo's haters who thought that he was going to be a flop at uh, Al Ahli, uh, yeah, he, they, they now have to swallow their words because Pizzo is doing really well at the moment. He's playing very attractive football and so far so good for Pizzo Mosimane. And I think this is good for South Africans alike who now uh, see Pizzo in the world stage um, in Egypt and yeah, big up to Pizzo Mosimane. More news uh, in regards to Pizzo Mosimane is that he gave a big thumbs up to Bongani Zungu who signed for Steven Gerrard's Rangers. Steven Gerrard's side are currently first in the Scottish Premiership. They are six points behind Celtic who have won the Scottish Premiership nine times in a row. They won it last season for their ninth time. If uh, Steven Gerrard's side can stop Celtic from winning uh, the La Decima of Scottish Premierships, it will be quite a big achievement and hopefully Ubongani Zungu will be uh, involved in that. Steven Gerrard has come out to say that uh, everyone must just give him time. He's taking time to adjust to the, the Scottish League and how football and things are, are happening at the moment. So he just needs more games and more practice under his belt and he'll be fine. But we'll keep a close eye on Bongani Zulu's performance. He, he played for um, uh, French side Emmons for the past three or so seasons and he scored two goals. So hopefully he'll have a better future. There's something obviously that uh, Steven Gerrard sees in our South African talent. So we'll keep a close eye on him. And yeah, let's support him guys. Well done for uh, Bongani Zoom. Guardiola has come out to say he wants to stay at Man City. This comes after Victor Font, the uh, Barcelona candidate president, has come out to say if he wins the presidency at Barcelona, he will make sure that he does his best to bring Guardiola back to Barcelona so he can uh, play with Messi again. But Guardiola has come out to say that he doesn't want to he doesn't want to go to Barcelona. He's very happy at Man City. You guys would have seen in previous videos that I've come out to say Guardiola uh, doesn't seem like he wants to be at Manchester City. He has one more year left on his contract. His contract runs out at the end of this season and so does Messi's. But now he's come out to say that he's very happy at, at Man City and he wants to continue for many more years. Uh, I wonder what this is about. Maybe it's about him pulling Messi to Manchester City. So right now it seems to be a, a, a tug of war between uh, Barcelona and Manchester City. Uh, at this stage, it seems like all the cards are with Messi and Guardiola. Messi wants to leave Barcelona. He's been saying that the whole year and he's playing like he wants to leave. Uh, so at this stage, it seems like all the cards are with Guardiola and Messi. Speaking of Manchester City, they face Sheffield away today in the Premiership. I think that's going to be a very difficult game for Sheffield because Manchester City have seemed to, to find their form again. They won 3 1 at uh, Marseille. They beat Marseille in the Champions League. And Sheffield are currently sitting 18th in the Premiership. They're not looking very great, uh, Sheffield. They're not as strong as they were last season. Uh, they make a lot of mistakes and they don't show that strength and vigor at home as they did uh, last season so i only see one result in this game i see manchester city taking it and i'm gonna call that uh 3-1 to manchester city burnley play chelsea guys in the premiership after that i think that game is going to be very difficult for chelsea 
Statistically, it hasn't been good for English sides who travel to Russia. Just listen to this stat, guys. Uh, Arsenal lost 2-1 to Newcastle when they traveled to Russia. Manchester City lost to West Ham when they traveled to Russia. I think the, the key thing here is the travel. It's difficult for them to, to find time to train, rest, and, and prepare for the game. So it'll be interesting to see whether Chelsea will be able to do something and actually win. I think that it, it's gonna be difficult for Chelsea. Even though they were able to rest players, they rested uh, Pulisic a little bit. Uh, they rested Tammy a little bit, so I think uh, Chelsea are going to draw this game. I'm going for a 1-1 uh, Burnley and Chelsea. And then guys, Liverpool will play West Ham at home. West Ham have played really well in the Premier League this season, although their key man has been uh, Antonio, who's, who will not be available for this game. He is injured, uh, but Liverpool also have a lot of injuries. Uh, their whole back line is injured, so it's going to be quite tight for them because they're back they, they really 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 loose at the back they they considered a lot of a lot of goals even with van dyke and now their whole defense is kind of injured for being is injured not sure if tiago will play um yeah so it's just it's going to be quite interesting to see how they will do i think though they will have enough to defeat west ham without their key man antonio they've lost uh, statistically more games without Antonio than with him so I think uh, Liverpool are gonna win this quite comfortably I'm gonna call this 3-1 to Liverpool all right guys thanks again for watching my episode I hope you really enjoyed it uh, sticks because it sticks uh, stick with me and don't forget to like subscribe show me love as I show you love and I'll see you guys again at halftime